What's good? I'm EST Don Juan. I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We right back at it, y'all. We got EST Don Juan jumping off the porch with us today. What's up, bro? What's going on with you? Man, cool, man, bro. How you feeling, man? I mean, I'm doing good, man. It's good to be here. Yes, sir. Nah, man. Definitely a pleasure, man, having you jump off the porch with us, bro. Man, for real. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure. So, man, you from Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Man, can you, I mean, you know, just tell us, like, you know, what is Louisville, you know, like? Because I feel like, you know, People still don't really know, you know, Louisville is like in an interesting pocket, like between the Midwest and the South, you know what I mean? I feel like people don't really know like the vibe, you know what I'm saying, of it. So could you could you share that with us, bro? Man, Louisville's turn for real. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on the outside looking in think like like Louisville's country. When you think about Louisville, you think about horse riding or you know what I'm saying? Overalls and corduroys or something, you know what I'm saying? Man, we everybody's turned, Louisville's turned. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's like, it's his own little world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been nowhere that I can compare to Louisville. Like, Louisville, we ain't got no NBA team, or no NFL team, or no shit like that. I mean, no stuff like that, but you know, it's cool. Yeah, because it's big college town, like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, shit, hooping, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I know, like, hooping is big there. I mean, I know football is huge there, too, but, like, Louisville really known for, you know what I'm saying, they, they basketball team, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, what was the vibe for you growing up, though, man? What, what was it like for you? What was your come up like? Uh, growing up, it was, you know, I played. Like, all my life, I just really focused on football. Okay. You know, I thought I was going to the NFL. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I played football all the way up until like my senior year and I quit the football team. Yeah. I mean my head coach got into it. You know what I'm saying? And I told him, you know, you know, like I ain't it's ain't this ain't what it is, so I quit the football team. Hmm. Was it something where you weren't feeling the <laughs> the way the the, the the type of discipline that he was trying to, you know, put down, like the way that he was trying to, you know, exp mm. express that, express discipline to you or whatever? Was it something you weren't feeling? Was it, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't really with losing. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? If I know we got a formula to win, why, why won't we go with that formula? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like he, he wasn't listening to none of the players out aspects of what we what we should do yeah you know what i'm saying so you know to win you gotta get everybody's aspects on everything you gotta you know what i'm saying you gotta put it all together yeah the coaches don't really be they weren't really doing that when i was in high school hmm. you know what i'm saying so i quit you know i quit the football team i'm like man i'm gonna do something else i'm gonna figure it out yeah did you have a plan when you uh quit the I team ain't, <laughs> i ain't had no plan I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had no plan, but I was just like, you know, I'm definitely gonna figure it out because yeah. I, I want some money. So, you know, I was just like, I was, I was dedicated, I was determined to, to do something. Yeah. Whatever it was, I was gonna do it. Yeah, no, I could dig that, I could dig that. Now, man, tell us who you got on the porch with you, bro. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You came with the uh, squad and shit. Ah, uh, yeah, these, these, these my brothers. I grew up with everybody up here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I done been, on, I been, I done been locked up half of them on the yard. We didn't all, you feel me? He's yeah. my brother. Yeah. Yeah, these my brothers right here. I love. Word. You know True saying? testament of everybody shining together. For sure. Yeah. Nah, and, and I even saw that, bro, like with your, uh, with your um, 55 first day out video, you know what I mean? Like it's so, you getting out and you know what I'm saying, everybody's showing you love and all that. Um, I know that feeling just had to be crazy, you know what I mean, with, with, with everything you have been going through. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, talk about that song though? Cause that song been so impactful, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that shit been hitting, bro. Like, can, can you talk about that? Man, that song, I did that song when I was, uh, you know, I was in Houston. You know, I was actually Ray Leader studio, and then, you know, the, my producer, John, just put up a beat. I was the James Horace house when I uh, did that song. Yeah. He got a studio at his crib. 
You know what I'm saying? So I did this, I did the song over. You know, I was already motivated by everything I was looking at. I'm like, damn, I'm fresh out and I'm seeing all this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I just did the song. We shot the video the next day. Hmm. Nah, that's hard, man. Nah, the, the whole vibe was... <laughs> The whole vibe was just ill, and I mean, that song has been one that's like really, you know what I'm saying, giving people shit recon to recognize your name and, and, you know what I mean, allow you to set yourself apart, you know what I'm saying, from the team. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, man, so, I mean, back to, you know, life in Louisville though, bro, like, so growing up, man, like, did you grow up like amongst a big family, you know what I mean, like, what, what was your uh, life like? My family was, I had a good family growing up. You know what I'm saying? My my mama and my daddy went together. But, you know, she she was married. Yeah. So I got to see what like what marriage looked like. Like what love looked like. You know right. what I'm saying? But our definition of love is at least. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I I feel like that was that was good. I had something to look forward to growing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was oh, that's, cool. That's what's up, man, because you don't hear a lot of people, you know, talking about that when they talk about, you know, coming up and even coming up in the environments that we, you know, come up with is, you know what I mean, like, is, is, is that love, you know what I mean? Because shit, a lot of times, shit, our parents is, you know what I mean, moving on survival mode and then that transfer to us, you know what I mean? And we got to move on survival mode, so. Um, how, like, important was it, you know what I'm saying, for you, like, seeing you know what I mean, like that structure in the house, like for, you know what I'm saying, you to be able to like, you know what I mean, just prosper and move forward. It, sure. was, it was very important. It was like, uh, I got a chance to get familiar with how things are supposed to get ran. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, how a man is supposed to be to a woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, also how a woman is supposed to be towards a man. You know what I'm saying, and it was genuine at the same time, with no, it wasn't no, no bull, no BS, it, yeah. was, it was genuine. That was good that I got to grow up in, in a household like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen my mama get disrespected. I ain't never, you know what I'm saying, see her mistreated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She was treated like a queen. And, you know, I, I enjoyed that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at what point did you know that you wanted to tap into music? Like, when did you, when did that come, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, to uh, you? I made my first song in 2014 when I was on house arrest. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't really never take music serious, you know what I'm saying? But everybody always was telling me like, bro, you good, you know what I'm saying? Take it serious, you good, you got it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, you know, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, for real? You know, I'd be like everybody telling you, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I caught a case when, you know what I'm saying, I ended up getting back out. And when I got back out, I'm like, hey, you know, this is it now. I got to do something. Yeah. So that's when I started taking the music serious. Right. Then I started seeing, like, I got a following, like, people are <coughs> listening to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go. This is what I'm going with. This is, this is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I want to, I want to, like, go back into, you know what I'm saying, you growing up and everything, too. Because, I mean, Static Major it, uh, was your stepfather. Yeah. And, you know, I definitely, you know, him being a Grammy Award winning producer, you know, super talented. Um, how much of that um, was a part of the influence with the music? Like, were you, as a part of growing up, like, were you in the studio with him? Was you, like, watching um, the creative process? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was always around, you know, I used to. I used to study static when I was a kid. Right. And then I would, I would be studying him and not even knowing I'm studying him. You know what I'm saying? Just me looking at his movement, how he's writing a song, what he's doing while he's writing a song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I so happened, I just took to all of that growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all right, if I knew a football it didn't work, you know what I'm saying? I had the streets, but the streets don't last. You know what I'm saying? I need something that less, that's going to last forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, music, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Yeah. You know, I grew, into, I grew up in the music business. So watching him, I'm like, man, this nigga, like, he's incredible. <coughs> this guy's incredible. He, you know, he was off the chain. So I just, you know, I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I, I know I got it, right. you know what I'm saying? 
And when you were younger, were you taking a stab at producing? Were you, you know, were you were you were you in the songwriting? Like, mm -hmm. was it something? Or you or you was just a sponge? You was just there, just seeing uh, it, but I not necessarily. Yeah, I was, in it. I was just there in it, just watching it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even know what I was watching when I was watching it. Yeah, because it's so mm -hmm. young. I was young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just like. I didn't even know. And then as I got older and I started listening to the songs again, now I know what he was talking about. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not only that, I'd be like, you know, he he <coughs> he was that dude for real. Yeah, nah, he was prolific. Yeah, he nah. was that dude for real. Yeah. Nah, for real. Um, so I mean that's ill, man. Like, you know, just being a sponge, you know, not even knowing that you witnessing history, you know what I mean? Like right there. Um, in the making and, and, and being a part of that and then that being something that's embedded in you, you know, not even knowing. Um, what was it like when Lollipop like went, you know, so big and it was, you know, I mean, bro was in the video, you know, wild and out, and, you know what I mean? Like just, I mean, all of that, like they was in the suits and all that, you know what I mean? Like what, what was that, what was that feeling like around that time? I was, that was, I think it was like history. It was something for the book. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, I was actually there, like when he was doing the song. You know what I'm saying? When he actually sent the song to Wayne, I was with him. You know what I'm saying? He was. I remember him telling me that day. He was like, you know, I just sent Wayne his first number one hit. You know what I'm saying? His song. You know what I'm saying? For him. You know what I'm saying? Not for cash money. For him. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. Yeah. So, and he had that confidence in it before it had even come out. He knew what it was gonna yeah. be. He knew what it was when he when he sent it to Wayne. He knew what it was, and he told him. You know what I'm saying? But actually, when he sent it to Wayne, it had uh, Pleasure P was on the song. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then Wayne sent the song back in like 30 minutes. I was with him. That's when Skype was. It was Skype was then. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Wayne sent the song back, and he was like, "Man, we gonna put you on it." Instead of pleasure, you know what I'm saying? I want you on it. And they dropped the song. That song went number one. That's the back when ringtones was in too. Yeah, for right? sure, for sure. So that song went. So it was over with. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, no, nah, that was a different era. Yeah, man, ringtones, all of that, man. So I mean, that song was a platinum ringtone, yeah. a platinum single. I mean, just across mm -hmm. the board. I mean, that song. That was one of the biggest songs for a few years. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Um, and so then, like, do you do you remember, um, like, do you remember just like the kind of like w like the plans of like what was coming next and like what was, you know what I mean like well that's why like in, me. In, ter in terms of well in terms of static yeah. and like was you know what I mean like was he about to push more on the artistry side or was he still he was static didn't he didn't he didn't really care for being no like no artist. He he was cool with being a producer and playing the background. You know what I'm saying? Them is the ones that make the money. Yeah. So he was cool with just being, you know what I'm saying, laid back. He he was a family man. He didn't want to be famous. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? He liked to walk around the city like he normal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He did. He went everywhere freely. Like he you know what I'm saying? Like he went nobody. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't know who he was, you wouldn't even recognize him. Right. You wouldn't know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how he liked it. So, you know, but I think after the lollipop, he was 33 when lollipop dropped. I think after the lollipop, it went, you know, he wasn't gonna be really normal no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was a superstar. He was gonna be a superstar after that. Mm -hmm. So that's what it was. Right, right. And um, what are some things from his work ethic that you saw um, when you were growing up that you apply to what you do today? Trying to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Static was consistent. He was very consistent. And he, you know, he always be out, be gone on the road. You know what I'm saying? But it was for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? He had to go. He was trying. He saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as you see that light, you're going to keep going. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes your vision going to get blurry. Yeah. And you get frustrated. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep going. Yeah. But I think he always just kept going no matter what. You know what I'm saying? He kept going.
No, for sure, for sure. And so then, I mean, it was a bittersweet moment for you because during this time, you know, you seeing him reach, you know, the, a peak of his success or the most success at that point in time. And then soon after, you know, he passed away, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, God rest his soul. Um, where did that put you, you know, um, mentally, uh, spiritually, you know what I mean? Uh... I was I was 14 when he passed. You know what I'm saying? He was 33. So, for me, seeing like growing up, I met him when I was three. Him and my mama got married. I think when I was like four. Right. So, he was my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he raised me. So, I I didn't I didn't really know how to take care for real. I was more so mad than sad. Mm. So I'm like everything I didn't see you work for. As soon as you rape blow up, <coughs> you, 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 you know what I'm saying, something happened. You know what I'm saying? You got an accident. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it was out of your control. You know what I'm saying? So that was just like, I'm like, damn, like, that's, that's crazy. It almost make you feel like, you know, like, shit's not fair. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, make like, you, it, it make you mad at God, but you can't even be mad at him. Right, right. Question. You be questioning me when you post to. Yeah. yeah, nah, for sure, man, for sure. And so, um, I mean, how long after that, um, like, did you, you know, start, like, really pursuing your music and going in? Like, because I heard you earlier saying that, like, around 14 was kind of when you, you started, right? Or Yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> My brother, my my brother Capo, he he rap, you know what I'm saying. So from the neighborhood, he, him and his brother, him and his brother Young, they was the ones that was that I'd be like, yeah, they they gonna blow up, you know what I'm saying. They the ones, they 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 was raw, you know what I'm saying. So he one day I'm on, you know what I'm saying. We just sitting in the house, and he was like, bro, you need to rap. I'm like, what? He like, man, rap, man. I'm telling you, you got a story. You know, people are grasping your story. And so I started rapping. At first, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I don't think I was nothing, but everybody else telling me, like, keep, you got it, keep right. going, keep going. But I ain't really take it serious till I just got out this time. Okay. I ain't never really take rap serious. Word, word. And uh, when did you meet ESTG? I've been knowing G, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, me and me, we from the same hood. Okay, word. So y'all grew up together, like mm -hmm. sandbox type shit. Yeah. Wow. I could dig that. And um, was he one of the people telling you and encouraging you to rap and to get into it? Yeah, he always encouraged me to rap. You know what I'm saying? He actually get frustrated with me sometimes when I don't when I don't stay focused on rap because yeah. he know like he know I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, I can dig that. So, so now you um. You got locked up and you, you did like, what, about like eight years, nine years, something like that? Mm-mm, nah, I did, I did two the first time I got out, I was on probation. Yeah. I got caught with a, uh, with a, with a yeet. And I ended up going back to jail oh, and okay. doing like three and a half. Oh, okay, a couple skip bits, like. Okay. Yeah, I do a little two and threes at a time. Yeah, okay, word, word. And so then when you came home, Cause then you come home before you came home at one point before the pandemic, right? Yep, 2018, I got out. Okay, word, word. And so then you come home, and then the pandemic hit. Like, what, what was that? You know what I'm saying? Feeling like for you, I mean, I felt it wasn't even more so. I, I felt for the ones that was in jail at the time. I wasn't even really so much like I felt like we, you was out on the street. Yeah. You could you could find a way to make to make a, make a living, make sure you straight. But the ones that, that was locked up during the pandemic, them was the ones I was like, man, like, I can only imagine. They were saying, like, the commissary trucks weren't coming because of the virus, people sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't get visits. They cancel visitation. You can't see your people. They got you in the cell, quarantining. You can't get on the phones. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. them was the ones I was like, man, they, I feel like being at that time was the roughest. Wow, wow. So when you, um, in your situations, you know what I'm saying, when you, uh, when you got locked up, you know what I'm saying, a few times, do you feel like the circumstances that, or, or do you feel like what created, like, 
those circumstances was from like you damn near feeling like you know what I'm saying like sh like life ain't fair shit ain't fair like this is my last resort or this is my you know what I mean like I just you know what I mean what was it like more on on that tip or you know what I mean it's it's been a few times where I've been like life ain't fair you know what I'm saying I've been like life ain't fair but it don't it don't really be towards thing you can change. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can change the outcome of how, how I'm living. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm out here. So if, if, if I'm broke, I can, I can go get some money. You can change that. I can't say life ain't fair if I ain't got no money. It's on me. Yeah. But if, if, one of my, if one of my guys pass, or, or something happened to one of my guys, and that's out of my control, you know what I'm saying? That's when I get that. That's life ain't fair. Right. Like, why, why that happen? I can't change that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I can change it, I'm going to change it. Yeah. It's in my control. Yeah. I know a lot of times, like, we, a lot of times when we, some of the moves that we make be, you know, based off of, you know, like, shit like that, where it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, shit, like, everything against me right now, like, fuck it, you know what I mean? Like, so, how do you win those moments, bruh, you know what I mean? Like, keep your, keep level-headed, like, knowing that you got this career, you know what I mean, knowing that you got people that depend on you and all of that, like, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you keep your focus now, you know what I mean? Man, I've been to jail. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, when you don't want to go back, you see, you're going to do right. Yeah. You're going to find some way to do right. Yeah. But sure, like, I ain't, mm-mm, how, how the streets are set up now, yeah. you know. It's tricky out here. Yeah. You got to, you got to, you got to want it for yourself. More, more importantly, you got to want it for yourself. Yeah. If you don't want it for yourself, you ain't going to, you just, you know what I'm saying? You're going to keep getting the same results every time. Nah, that's real. That's real. Um, how do you, how do you not like, get too high when shit going good, but then not get too low when shit's fucked up? What you mean? You know what I mean? Like, cause a lot of times, bro, like something bad will happen and it's easy for us to go into that mode like, damn, this the worst shit ever. Or some good shit happen and then we like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, we got to keep that balance. You know what I mean? So how do you keep a balance with shit? You know what I mean? Cause you done been through a lot, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's seen a lot of highs and a lot of, and, and lows. You know what I mean? I really, I really think I'm numb, big bro. Like, not even, like, I ain't, Saying I'm different from no no other man, yeah. but I know I didn't been through so much and got through it. The fact that I got through it is like a, you know what I'm saying? It's a humbling experience. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm numb. I think me being numb keep me balanced. Yeah. Cause I know what I got to lose. You know what I'm saying? You know my my mama always told me she always like you know swords swords get beat before they get sharp. Mm. They gotta go through the fire, like fire. They end it. Then after they go through the fire, they get beat. Yeah. yeah. Into into form, to right, shape. Right, right, right. Yeah. And then after they get beaten to shape, then it's sharp. Mm. Once it's finished, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Then it's polished. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like to look at myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I done already been beat. I done been through the fire. Going through different phases. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now, now, now I'm polished. Mm. Yeah, sharper. Now I'm sharp. Yeah. Nah, I can dig that, man. Uh, what's one of the biggest life lessons you've learned? Man. The biggest life lesson I didn't learn? Love who love you. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't be reaching out and, 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 and risking everything for people you know who, won't, who don't genuinely love you. You know what I'm saying? Also, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to just love who love you. Love, you know what I'm saying? Like everything's about loyalty and love. But yeah. Loyalty's everything. A lot of times we reach out and we looking for love in, in these other places. And a lot of times it's right there in front, in front of us. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, that, that, that's the case a lot of times. And then you come to find out or you come to figure out, like, damn, I should have been loving who was, who, who was fucking with me, who was rocking with me, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, the, uh, the video or, or the song, Come On, uh, with you and uh, ESTG, um, the way y'all going back and forth on there uh, is crazy. Uh, 
what was the inspiration like with that song or like do you even remember when y'all recorded that yeah, yeah. uh we in, he uh we was, he was we freestyled that song for real wow. you know what i'm saying so, every time me and me and bro got a whole lot of songs together so that was our first song we did when i got out yeah you know and it was more so on some you ready he was mm -hmm. like you ready i'm like yeah he was like come on yeah. Pull a beat up. So John pull the beats up. I think it was like the third beat. He was like, that's the one, come on. Yeah. He goes in. He comes out. He freestyled the whole thing. Yeah. He comes out. Go ahead. <coughs> so I got my phone now. He's like, no, nah, uh-uh. We ain't doing no right. We, going, we just going in. Come yeah. on. And that's what it was. Yeah, straight off the feelings. Just yeah. straight off. Just... Straight off the of feelings. Yeah. We going in. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And then on the Young Shiners album, um, you had a joint on there that was hard, that yeah. uh, that one on one. Mm -hmm. One on one, yep. That's one of the songs I did before I got uh, locked up. Okay. Yeah. Now that's what's up. Um, now I know you said that since you've been back home, like this is you know you more focused now. Um, what's some of your what's some of your plans? Like what's some of your goals for yourself? And it, you know, what I mean, within music, like what's some of your goals for yourself? I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to change people's lives. Not just man, I'm trying to change everybody's life. You know what I'm saying? I see what everybody go through. And I feel like it's it's enough money, it's for everybody. Yeah. Plenty of money. To where we can take his money and, and do this with it. Take it and take that money and do that with it. You know what I'm saying? We done already got money out there, you know what I'm saying? Streets that's over with. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we through with that. Yeah. That's that's dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's washed up. I'm so with it. Yeah. The music is what it's with. That's what it is now. Nah, that's what's up, man. And uh, any plans for releasing a full project uh, anytime soon? I just released the project in November, like a couple of days after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, it ended up getting taken down for, um, I, I can't remember why it got took down, but it got took down. I'm ready to get that put back up. Okay. But I got another project I'm, I'm about to release now. Uh, I might release it in a couple weeks. So I don't know. I ain't decided on a date yet, but I'm going to release it here soon. Okay. Word, right, word. Right. It's a title to it. Can you, can you share, uh, like, some, mm -hmm. some game on, like, shit, what, what the project, uh, what the vibe I, is or any of that? I keep on changing the name. I can't say a set name yet. I keep on changing the name. But yeah. it's, it's about to be released here soon, though. Okay. Okay, where? I'm gonna some features on that too. Yeah. Well, um, what are like some of your goals in terms of your career overall? Like, are you are you trying to get into acting? Are you trying to, you know, like do you do you want to or do you even ha do you have your own label that you you know what I mean with artists things like that? Like, what's some of your? Uh... Yeah, I got uh, yeah, I got a label too. But I wanna I wanna invest. I'm trying I'm trying to be the biggest artist in the world. So if I, Acting, all of it come with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I can do it if I put my mind to it. You know what I'm saying? But I also want I want to make everybody up here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going rich. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make everybody around me rich. Yeah. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't be the only one with money. You got to make everybody rich. Yeah. Nah, for sure. For sure. Um, when, uh, when when uh when G you know signed the situation uh with with CMG you know what I'm saying with Gotti um what was your thoughts on that you know what I mean just in terms of just seeing you know just just more elevation within the team and you know all of that like mm -hmm. I I knew what G was the first time I heard him I always knew that was gonna happen for him you know what I'm saying so I was happy for him but I knew I was like I was like yes. That's only the beginning for him. Yeah. yeah. Like he, he, he's different. You know what I'm saying? I know what he is. You know what I'm saying? I, I tell him all the time, I be like, bro, I feel like if Static was there, they'd be like this. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? They, they remind me of each other a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Like they work, they how they work, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused and stuff like that. Like, yeah. like bro's incredible. Yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so what what else you got coming up, bro? What else can we can we expect from you? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm working on another project. 
you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start networking a little more, like doing more features and you know what I'm saying? Moving around a lot more, doing more shows, they're they gonna see a lot more of me this year. Yeah. Then they, then they, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. I ain't going nowhere else. So, no, nah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, you got any, uh, you got any words you wanna um, leave us with? Wanna leave your fans with? You know what I'm saying? Any shout outs you wanna give before we get up out of here? Take it up, man. Yeah, 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 shit, man. But shout out to the island, man. We here in the island, man. We, you know. Let's, we ain't going nowhere. We gonna be here for a while. They gotta get used to this. It's, it's a shining world this year. CGI, forever. So yes, sir. EST Don Juan, appreciate you jumping off the porch with us, bro. Man, I appreciate you, big brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.